on everyone, welcome back to Cocktail Cards. I'm AJ and today we're gonna have some sex on the beach. All right, so this drink was the most requested cocktail on Instagram and you know, it's beautiful, it tastes good, it's got a fun name, so it doesn't surprise me at all. So let's go ahead and go over the ingredients to make the sex on the beach. Now this is a vodka based drink, so you do need some vodka. We're gonna be going with Tito's for this one. Next year you need a peach snops. It is crucial to have peach schnapps for this drink. So if you don't have it, go to the store and get it. You can find it anywhere. And uh, really, really makes this drink taste the way that it does. Next, we're gonna need some fresh squeezed orange juice. And lastly, we're gonna need cranberry juice. We're just gonna go with Ocean Spray cranberry juice for this one. Now for the garnish, it's gonna come with an orange wheel and also some cherries. So if you just have some big, you know, red cherries, that's totally fine. I have some fancy Luxardo cherries. That's just what I have in the house, so we're gonna be using that. So let's go ahead and jump in how to make this drink. So traditionally, this drink is served in a highball glass or a hurricane style glass and oftentimes at bars you'll go there and they'll just layer the drinks because it just looks really beautiful to have the orange and the red from the cranberry juice kind of separated from each other and I think that's notoriously kind of one of the reasons why people love this drink so I am still going to shake it but I'm not gonna shake it with a cranberry juice because we're gonna try and get that layered look but still shake the drink up so it tastes as good as possible when you drink it so let's go ahead and grab a pint glass and we're just gonna build the drink in the pint glass and then give it a shake. First thing we're going to do is add one and a half ounces of our vodka. Next we're going to add half of an ounce of our peach schnapps. And next we're going to add one and a half ounces of our fresh squeezed orange juice. So the only thing left to add is cranberry juice and I'm actually not gonna add that until after we shake it. So go ahead and just grab some ice. We're gonna give this a shake for about eight to 10 seconds. What we're gonna do is add ice to our hurricane glass and we're first gonna add the cranberry juice before we add our mix so we can give it a nice layered look. So go ahead and add in one and a half ounces of your cranberry juice. And now go ahead and add in the rest of your drink. All right, next we're gonna slice up an orange wheel to garnish along with a couple cherries as well. And there you have it, some sex on the beach. Yeah, so boozy, fruity, sweet, delicious. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything you might want if that's your kind of drink. Uh, it's amazing how that peach schnapps comes out so prominently, even though it's what is least mixed in this drink, but you definitely get a lot of that peach schnapps, which is so perfect in this drink. Uh, you get the fresh orange juice, the vodka. Um, of course, as soon as I mix up the cranberry, I'm gonna get the full effect of this drink, but uh, I still got some uh, photos I gotta take of the drink first, but there you have it, the sex on the beach. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the sex on the beach recipe, make sure you give us a thumbs up. We really, really do appreciate it. I know this was a really, uh, wildly requested drink on Instagram. So I hope you guys get to enjoy this recipe, have fun. It's very, very delicious. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm AJ with Cocktail Cars. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. 
Thanks for watching. More info is in the description. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.